When a family splits up, it's really just not that easy. From my perspective, and maybe this is just because I'm a very black and white personality, if women are not married to the same man, you're not a sister wife anymore. I really, at this point, have no idea what this all means. I can't project myself into the future right this second and even try to imagine what's going to happen and what it's going to look like. It's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It's Wednesday, September 28th. So there was a brand new teaser put out by TLC today and it's involving, it involves Christine sitting down, Mary and the ladies to talk about how she's leaving Cody. They will not validate that we are having a good experience and that in our culture, people have a good experience. And as always, there's reactions and there's thoughts and there's feelings. And in this video, we're going to talk about what we saw on the show. The video I just uploaded, which is currently going on right now, that video was about the reality behind the show. Every show on TV is in a way scripted, even though it's not, and drama fabricated, heightened, and nothing on reality TV is real. I mean, it is to a point, but we're going to talk about what happens in this situation because I, I don't want to understate that the feelings that you're seeing on this show right now are probably the most real you've ever seen them. And before we get into it, can you do me a huge favor and give this video a thumbs up? Also, make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you have not yet subscribed, turn those notifications on so you know when I upload new content or if I ever go live, make sure to turn your notifications on to all. And as always, make sure to leave me some comments. And if you don't wanna give me a thumbs up right away, you can give it to me at the end. I always do this reminder here or else I'll forget. Let's get going. They've done a very good job at lying. And the reason why I think they're such good liars is because in this group, the AUB, there's this whole idea about like lying for the greater good. Like the outside world, us Gentiles or apostates, we would never understand. So it's okay to lie because for them, you don't, you're not like elite enough to know the truth. So we'll just dumb it down and pretend like things are a certain way because we don't have to tell the truth. And, you know, even Robin one time admitted that like they're not playing in the same world as we are. And the world's not built for them. So in the heightened world of polygamy, where a lot of them have to lie their way through things, we're finally seeing someone leave and no longer want to lie. And this is perhaps the only time we've seen the family be truthful the entire time we've seen the show. Actually, if I look back on it, I think Christine had a hard time lying from the very beginning. So Christine is going to be sitting down the ladies to talk about how she's leaving. And it's obvious that it doesn't go over well. But you'll be surprised that who, who is it that takes it the hardest? Mary. Mary actually starts out super angry. Check this out. When a family splits up, it's really just not that easy. From my perspective, and maybe this is just because I'm a very black and white personality, if women are not married to the same man, you're not a sister wife anymore. I really, at this point, have no idea what this all means. I can't project myself into the future right this second and even try to imagine what's going to happen and what it's going to look like. Okay. So Mary's got like a scowl on her face. She looks mad. She looks angry. And if you remember, Mary was the one that was trying to convince Christine to stay. In fact, Mary for the better part of the entire series has been trying to get Christine to stay. I don't know if you remember, but it was really early on. They had just moved to Vegas. Uh, they Mary had a knee injury. Christine was struggling with Cody. And she went over to Mary's house to talk with her about the struggles that she was having. And Mary basically like shut down Christine and was like, you just need to just be a better person. You can't change him, but you can change yourself. 
you know, did you remember, did you watch the series Keep Sweet, Pray and Obey? So keeping sweet is not a novel idea to Warren Jeffs. It's actually sort of a tenant in this fundamentalist world where women are just supposed to stuff down their emotions and be happy all the time because their emotions are not like for the good of the family. It's selfish to feel jealous. It's selfish to want your husband all for yourself. It's selfish to feel. And you just have to deal with yourself. So if you see Mary constantly talking about how her value comes from her, it's just Mary reinforcing to herself on a daily basis that she's keeping sweet. So Mary's having a hard time right off the bat with this. And we haven't even gotten to the point where Christine's really said anything. Yeah, I guess I just can't, I just can't imagine after 30 years, like how this looks. You've just been so much like the fabric of, everything i mean christine is front and center in all my memories as far as being even way way back she was the person who took care of my kids while i worked there's so much history there right and it's been years so to me it's almost like christine's as big a part of my world as cody is so naturally janelle is having a hard time unraveling what this means for her and you know janelle and christine's relationship was not always great I don't know if you remember, but very on, early on, Janella said that she thought that Christine was a princess, that she didn't really like Christine. She thought Christine was needy. She's had the same feelings about Robin. Janelle has like strong emotions about Christine leaving and sentimental emotions about her leaving because Christine was the primary caregiver of Janelle. So Janelle could go and work for the family. And for Janelle leaving, Christine leaving is a almost as heartbreaking to her as if she were to end her marriage with Cody because she loves Christine that much. And if you think about it, in a lot of ways, the wives spend more time together than the husband spends with them. So they're more married to each other than they are to Cody. Are you guys but, sure? I mean, like, my past was so weird. It's like, are you guys sure? Like, you're sure, sure, sure. Yeah. I've been through a divorce. I know what this means. We're not just talking about three kids and a husband and a wife. We're talking about 18 kids, spouses, grandbabies, and five of us that are all connected and committed to each other and technically married. Do, do you even understand what you're saying? So like Robin, on her part, she's having a hard time accepting this to be true. So she's like, are you sure? Is this good? Are we okay? Like. Does she really understand what a divorce is? By the time Christine and Cody have sat down, you have to remember, they've had multiple conversations about the end of the marriage. She's already made the decision to move to Utah. And so Robin's coming at this like, like Christine is somehow ignorant to the fact of the choices that she's making. And because Robin left her husband, you know, after seven years of marriage with three children, that how somehow is the same. I'm pretty sure Christine is very well aware of the choice that she's making, but we'll continue. Let's go on, same. Robin. Like I'm looking at Cody going, are you gonna let this happen? I'm looking at Christine going like, are you sure? Do you know what this means? Cause I do. And I only know it from like a smaller level, like with just a monogamous couple and three kids. I mean, like that was absolute hell. So then and she was, says, she looks at Cody and says, are you going to let this happen? So here's Robin submitting to Cody and submitting to him that he needs to stop her from what Christine is about to do. And still believing that Cody has some level of authority to even make that decision for Christine because she doesn't want to deal with the brokenness of the family because she's been through it. So Robin, somehow doesn't think that they've thought this through. This has been months in the making, but really continue Hell. Robin. And it was for years, years. It still is hard for my kids. It's still hard. Wait a minute. Did Robin just finally acknowledge that her kids are still dealing with the after effects of divorce? 
does this mean that you can't just erase a father from the lives of the children and pretend like it never happened and just insert Cody into their lives as dad and pretend like their real dad never existed? I don't know a lot about David Jessup and even if there was DV in their relationship, even if there was, she still has allowed them to go see that, to see their dad. She has still allowed them to have a relationship with him, right? And even if they didn't get along, that doesn't mean that David can't be a good dad to his own kids, right? We don't know anything about David other than Robin's point of view. I've always wanted to hear his side of the story. And he's had some arrests for, you know, outbursts and issues of his own. So yes, there's some instability with her ex-husband, but at the same time, does that really negate erasing him from their lives because your ex, your current husband had to have the kids because he's Cody Brown and David wasn't going to be in the cult anymore and having the kids outside of the cult was just unimaginable. They had to have your kids. I mean, they're remember the the adoption and they're like they're mine now they're ours we own them like kids are not property but now let's go back to uh, janelle because this is who i actually care about i mean how do we unravel something that's been together for this long there isn't an unraveling it's just gonna look different it's, it's not, not an unraveling easy, christine huh it's not that easy no it's not it doesn't just look different i don't know i'm just i'm i'm not happy right now i'm not happy with this situation it makes me angry so Janelle is trying to unravel, unravel, unravel life and what life would be like without Christine, okay? And Miss Mary, Miss Mary over here, she's all like, you don't get it. I'm angry. It's not just going to be different. Let's take a moment. I want to take you through a journey, and this is called... Mary Brown and why she's angry. Contrary to popular belief, Mary does not stay with Cody because of money. Mary does not stay with Cody because of the show. Contrary to popular belief, Mary is not doing this for fame. The truth is Mary believes in her faith. Cody's best friend is Mary's brother-in-law. So Mary's sister, Rebecca, her husband, Nathan, is not only Cody's best friend, but also Cody's business partner. And he has a business with him. His new business, US Tactical, is with Mary's brother-in-law, Nathan, or Rebecca's husband. It's not that easy for Mary to disentangle herself because her whole family is involved in this. And as Kristen Decker told me a couple years ago, and even as of late, Mary is a believer from head to toe in this faith. She believes that this is what she needs to do to go to heaven. And she is like her mom going to suffer and grin and bear her way through it so that she gets the payoff in her eternity. She doesn't want to somehow ext extricate herself from the lie that she's been taught because it would shatter her whole sense of who she is. Mary's not staying there for anything other than this is her faith. So when she tells you that she's there because of her faith and this is why she's still married to him, that's actually the truth. But Mary is angry because Christine is probably doing what Mary would want to do, but Mary won't do because she is a black and white thinker and doesn't think it's possible and thinks that Chris, like basically Christine's just a, giving, a quitter. She's just giving up. She's going to ruin it for everyone. Uh, their celestial kingdom is now in doubt because there's only going to be three wives now. What are you doing to our eternity? But also, I thought it was interesting because in the very beginning she said, does that make her a sister wife? What is the name of the show, Sister Wives? Do you think it's interesting that, Chris, that Mary's like, that doesn't make her a sister wife? The elephant in the room is, how do we do a show without you, Christine? Is that even possible? They're never going to say that on camera. But what does this mean for the show? Christine is like one of the fan favorites. One of the only ones that people tune in for. Some of you don't. Some of you like Janelle. But it's going to change the show and they know it. They know that this is going to rock their world. This has been their financial stability for 13 years. 
Harry's mad because she's ruining their destiny, but she's also ruining their future, potentially with the show, and Christine's doing what Mary won't do. And to Mary, Christine is probably weak. But if you think that there's other, there's people in Mary's life that are helping, trying to nudge her out and tell her to like leave, yes. They're constantly, there's people in her life that are telling her to leave. Peyton was not lying when he said Mary will never leave. This is what Mary's committed her life to, even if it sucks until the end. So Mary's just going to be bitter and angry and mad at Christine because she had the audacity to wake up and learn that she was in a cult and it was all a lie. I'm actually interested to see how the rest of this conversation plays out. Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Bye guys.